Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, The Spiritual Justice Gym. You can call me Quita or Goddess Quita. I answer to both. I'm just here to talk about frequency numbers. Uh, the frequency number 666 and 999. If you read, um, if you're talking about 666 as an alphabet, it will be ABC. If you talk about 999, it will be XYZ. Um, This particular number, um, these particular two numbers are um, talking about as so below, as above, so below, as below, so above. That's what that frequency is talking about when we come to, um, when we talk about manifestation. Those numbers are significant. Those are mark of the beast, meaning something that, that is very powerful and strong. Those numbers, 666 is a very powerful strong number. When the Bible talk about beast, it means something with great power. When the Bible talk about 999, something with great power, meaning 666, meaning great power on the earth. 999 means a great power in the heavenly realms, meaning something of great power is manifesting. That's why when you look in a mirror, or you put the number 666 in the mirror, it looks like 999 because what is being created on the earth is being created in heaven. What's being created in the heaven is been reflecting onto the earth and it's basically a re those are reflection numbers when you have m numbers that look like that and i think those are only two numbers out of all numbers that look like that let me see um and it's basically talking about manifestation anything that you see on this earth was manifested on this earth i don't have the deep down knowledge for that well, revelation for that. I have the knowledge, but not the revelation yet. I've been shown 666 is a frequency of manifestation. And 999 is also a frequency of manifestation. Um, that's why... Um, these numbers are so significant in the Bible. And that's why the, the Bible talk about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It was speaking of power, of frequency power. of And that was in the flesh form. Meaning, meaning Jesus, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Meaning a manifestation of a family. The Father, the, fun, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That was talking about power. Not necessarily, to, not necessarily meaning the Father like uh, the earthly Father. But a Father like when... The woman and man become flesh. That's the father. That's the frequency. That's one. It took two two individuals to make one baby, which is the son. And then you got the spirit that comes along with that. So that is is basically talking about how man was manifested, how we were being birthed, created. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not losing nobody with this um with this kind of revelation. But that's basically what it's talking about. It's talking about manifestation the bible is solely it's a lot of scripture in the bible but most of the bible is about manifestation it's about uh manifesting either good or bad and, and it's a con it's talking about universal laws and the consequences of manifesting certain things in certain frequencies it's like if you do something you still rob kill or destroy you're manifesting stuff in a negative frequency meaning in your lower self frequency and so anything that you come out with is going to be of lower frequencies. It's not going to be of high frequencies. And that's going to manifest in the heaven and earth. That's why it tells you and give you consequences and commandments of uh, what to abide by and what not to abide by. I'm sorry, guys. Let me turn the water off real quick. But that's what it's talking about. Manifestation. So, um... Yeah, when the Bible is talking about these different numbers, it's talking about frequencies. Even when it's telling you that I should not do this, it wasn't saying that you cannot do it, but you should not do it. If you don't, if you if you listen, these are things that will keep you in high vibration, in meaning in alignment with your higher self, with the greatest good of all. And if you're not in that vibration, then you start um, manifesting stuff in a lower frequency. That's why a lot of people see a lot of different things happen in their lives simply because they're not in alignment. And that's what the devil wants to take you off of alignment. Anybody that's of the, um, 
that double frequency, that lower frequency is not, in, they're not in, they're in alignment with their lower selves and they want to knock you off alignment with your higher self so that uh, you won't manifest anything good. Because let's just be honest, the devil comes to rob, kill, and destroy. So if you are, if, if stuff is happening in your life, it look crazy and it don't look right, it's because you are at war. You are at war with uh, either somebody that is an antichrist, meaning to get to your highest good, meaning it's your highest conscience. Like a lot of times in twin flame unions, people don't understand that that the reason why your twin flame is your twin flame because they come to challenge you. Your soul is strong enough to challenge that. Most of the time, when they come in the union or an agreement, your twin flame will challenge you. And some, most of the time, your Lord self is a, 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 an example of what not to be like. Like my true twin flame, who I used to resonate with before I got into my higher level of soul connection relationship, th he was every example. The mother, even the whole family was a, a whole example of not what to do because they were born into lower frequencies. Instead of ascending into higher frequencies, uh, a lot of demonic people like to vibrate in those lower frequencies. So when you vibrate in those lower frequencies, um, that's what the in in incest, they like to do incest. They like to project um, negative onto the world, onto people. And that's what the book of Revelations is talking about, how, uh, how to get rid of those soul ties or soul connections. And the reason why they're soul ties is not because you did anything wrong or bad, but that person, you're of high vibration and that person of lower vibration. And God, God is using you to manifest short, to manifest to the world of how to release those lower contracts. And that it'll teach you how to, uh, how can I put it? A sin in your, uh, in your pineal gland, meaning in your higher self, you need to be tapped in to understand what's really going on. Like my twin flame mother is one of the prime examples. That's why a lot of the, um, times people, mothers and stuff die and they be so attached to them. And some people don't even cry when their mother die or stuff like that. A lot of that lower frequency is because that incest and that, 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 that filth that was in that family bloodline is that person is being cut off. So either that person is going to rise to the occasion and heal their bloodline or descend and continue on that curse, that traditional curse that they passed on. Incest is a traditional curse. Let's just be honest. That's the lower frequency that was of the devil. Incest is, a, I'm not talking about cousins, just cause I'm talking about really sleeping with mama and son. Uh, daddy and son, my sister, all that. I'm talking about like that, that, that's been out. That's been, that's been gone. And when you dwell in these frequencies and you participate in these behaviors, a lot of people in their family will either die or in pain. And that's why you see a lot of deaths. A lot of people that family have a lot of deaths and stuff in there. It's simply because, um, I'm specifically talking about um, people who indulge in incest and you you know it. A lot of people know these families that indulge in incest and these people that indulge in these lower frequencies. And one of the, the, the uh, most nastiest or the most devilish in, um, uh, sin is incest. And the Bible, I think that's why a lot of scrolls are taking out the Bible. Because we had um, people who were in agreement that was in high places who were in agreement with these things. That's why when I teach about the Leviathan spirit, that's why people make pact with the devil because the devil, the devil only can survive through your bloodline, through your thoughts, through your actions. But if we are a, a whole healed society or nation, the devil cannot dwell within that nation. That's why you see other nations doing better than America or less than America. It's because that devil frequency has taken over. But um, we have come into the knowledge of who we are. A lot of people was kings and pharaohs in the um, past life. Well, not a lot of people, but a lot of um, a lot of uh, females. Because let's be honest, most of the pharaohs were female. That's why you see a lot of phalluses that's in the that, that's been like, oh, where all these penises come from? Because they were really women that was ruling the world. It wasn't men ruling the world. They were pretending to be men because. And they understood psychology that people respond to men better as a, a more of authority. And so back then, they, the, our ancestors knew that. So most of the women uh, uh, pretended to be men. 
they will have baby girls and, and raise them and send them off somewhere because they they wouldn't tell you what 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 uh the sex of the child was and then they would give them penises and stuff fake penises that's why you, um in Egyptian culture when you like where all these phalluses come from because most of the fe the fa the pharaohs were women they were not men they were women in power and they ruled with an iron fist now we got men in power and look what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. I um, mean, yeah, let me stop laughing. But you see, the difference between men and women is so different. And they like to say we are weaker because we have the more emotions, but we are actually stronger because we empathize more with women and men. We we emphasize more because we give birth to women and men. Men only have to stick their penis inside a woman and that's it. You know what I mean? Women actually carry that baby. They can, they feel it. They know a good mama know like that, this and that. You can tell a good parent because a good parent knows their child within the womb. Like I can tell y'all like, yeah, this child going to be a little hard headed. Oh no, this child, this pregnancy, this child going to be a little easier. So I'm not saying that just because you have a good pregnancy that your child is going to be good. I'm just saying women have this intuition of a knowing, a deep knowing. And not only do they have a deep knowing, they have empathy. This is what, um, this is why women make good leaders, but they can be manipulated with their emotions too. This is why, uh, back in the day, they, uh, they didn't, um, they didn't take authority to women as, as, as um, very well. So women pretended to be men. They wore penises and stuff and had phalluses and stuff simply because they were rulers. And they know m people respect men more than they respect women. Now, deep day, deep, us women <laughs> carrying babies, handling bills, doing it, going to school. And we don't. A lot of us don't even need men. Let's just be honest. A lot of women are being with women because women, they understand that women are a lot stronger than men. A vagina is a lot stronger than a than a penis. Let's just be honest. We think about a penis and the muscle, their muscles on the outside, our muscles on the inside is very protected. So <laughs> I'm not gay, you guys. I, there's nothing wrong with being gay or bisexual. I, I'm just being logical here. And I understand that God let me see through the bull well now I want to say the bullshit, the secrecy. The higher you walk with God and the more celibate you stay, it's the more secrets you find out from God, and the more especially if you're on the spiritual journey, the more he'll reveal himself to you to you and past history, secrets, and all that. So this is a reason why um we saw a lot of fallacies within the mummies and then the wow these penis it wasn't because it was like really sexual it's because a lot of the pharaohs were really women and we only know one or two but most of most of, that's why you see all of them look like with these beautiful chinky eyes and because so, they were mostly women <laughs> <laughs> they were. They were mostly women. These high cheekbones. They were mostly women. These. Uh, some of them had big noses, but most of them had these little, uh, these like, a very medium to small noses because they were women. The cute lips. They were women. Let's just be honest. If you go back and look over and you just examine me, I sit with stuff. I I sit and I manifest with um not manifest. I sit and I meditate. That's what I meant to say with um, information. I, and and I, I that's how I'm able to see through. Like I try to put myself in a place of I, at that time period. I learn as much facts as I can about a certain time period. Then I sit with the information or, or artifact, and I and I imagine myself being that person in that time period, and that helps me to better understand what Egyptians went through. Because let's be honest, the Most High is leading us back to our Egyptian culture, uh, most Indian and Black American people, simply because. We're going back to the way things used to be where women were on top and men were more subservient because that's that's basically what it, they should be because men don't have that great empathy. They really don't. They have empathy to a certain point, but they don't have as much empathy as a woman. They don't have much sensitivity as a woman. That's um, the lesson. Even some of these uh, gay or bisexual men, let's just be honest, they still have more testosterone in their bodies whether they're men or women unless they're going getting these hormones and that is not really natural not that i'm against transgender i'm just being honest think about it from a very logical perspective uh perspective and then you will get a lot of um the answers so 
for them just can't say that we are a body where a womb is not <laughs> is not nearly uh what we are we are more than that that's why a lot of women are choosing not to have kids are choosing not to uh lay with a man and have a baby and they're choosing to be artificially i get it i would too if i was in that mind frame if i that was my purpose here but it makes sense that we have come to that conclusion because let's be honest a lot of uh, especially black men and um indian men and mexican men we come from a bloodline of slavery i'm not saying all mexicans but i see it the alcohol the spirits that, that like we if we go back to our culture and utilize stuff as properly as it was meant to be utilized and not how we utilize it today we will be more productive as a society It'll be less homeless less hungry let uh, it just be less of this demonic energy and we're trying to get the heaven back to on earth i know i am i know i'm working towards that that's why i have this channel that's why i teach the knowledge that i teach that's why i am who i am because let's be honest if we continue on this path our children are doomed and children are the future if we keep on bringing incest into this world, our children are the future. It breaks their psyche. It does things to them that they shouldn't have to go through. And it breaks their vibration down. And the things that they shouldn't have to heal from, they, they, are, they we have to heal from. As, as, as adults, That we would have been at a different point had we had had the proper up training. Had we had not been violated in certain ways. And I say we simply because I am a part of society. I'm a part of the people. Americans is, is only as strong as their weakest soldier. Our weakest people, if somebody's homeless in America, if somebody's hungry in America, then America is weak as F. Let's just put it that way. And for people to be like, oh, they just got a mental problem, but why well, are you, you know, we, we need to do better. I mean, we come from a long ways, but we still got a long ways to go too. Because I'm sorry, you guys. I'm cleaning and um, <laughs> doing the video. So if you hear water, it's because I'm cleaning and doing the video. But because um, this came to me as I was cleaning, so I just went ahead and did it. So it could be fresh on the mind and in the spirit. So when you, when we um, raise healthy children, we're actually creating a strong world. When we are honest with our children and do things age appropriate with them, and 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 sh and um, nurture them like they they should be nurtured. I'm not saying every child is gonna come out that way because we're all born in different energies. But when we're mindful of what we're doing and we do it in love, eventually we become on track with things and things become more balanced in the universe with all this lying treachery and. With all this incest that's going on, it creates an imbalance in the universe. And that's why you see people that are greedy that can raise prices. Because some some way in their life, somebody has been so demonic to them until everything is about money. Because that's the only sure thing that they think that is to, you know, that that's the only thing that's solid. And that's so far from the truth. As human beings, we should be solid. We should be um, empathizing for one another. And we should... We should have um, an understanding that humans should come first. An understanding that uh, any I, this is my that my thing. This is my problem with America. Any company that don't put the customers first, first is a company that shouldn't be be. We should not be buying stuff from. So point blank simple. If the customer doesn't come first. We should not buy, be buying anything from that company simply because they don't have our best interests in mind. As long as they, all they want is our money. And if it's not, if it's, uh, if you're not providing a service so uh, human beings can have better lives, then what are you doing? You're just doing it for money. The top reason that they should be doing things are for um, human services so they can have better life, better lives. And if they're not doing that, that's not the top priority besides money. Then. It, it shows within their work. It shows within their um. It shows, and then they try to cover it up. But when people are being subject to abuse, even within uh, phone, because a lot of people are like, this is what they do, and I'm like, nah, this how this shouldn't be. So you have to start calling out these companies. That's why a lot of people 
like to go to small businesses because they get to choose their customer service. They get to choose their they're more catered to and they will pay the extra money some because people like to be treated right. And it's sad that we're in this after this pandemic pandemic. It, it pushed us together, but it pushed us to be just money hungry and still create this narcissistic point of view. Even some like even with some states, you know, every state is different, but they have some states that get this pan- pandemic money. This don't, and it should be equal among each state, especially uh, in California. That's one of the top states that's got a lot of homeless people in it. Yes, they got programs for, for that. Yes, they got this and that, but. Let's let's just talk about it. Why is there so much homeless people in California, Arizona, Georgia? Why? Why 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 does homelessness exist in America if there's no slavery? Why? Let's talk about it. Why why does it exist? Why does hunger exist in America if we have food? They try to say it's a food shortage. How? How? Because the government is keeping all the seeds and making us buy each the um the the farmers buy each uh each uh uh season or whatever however you want to call it why it's like we are creating problems just to make more money and the more you do that is the more that you create havoc without you're gonna eventually you're gonna be so smart to you're dumb and your future generations Ain't gonna have nothing because let's be honest, the more you do this to people and we adapt to the common folks, then they, they learn how to block you out. They learn that your bloodline did this and that. And then they come against it and you were like, oh, this and that, and then you want to change the rules. But let's talk about it. Why change the rules for one family where you could change it for the world and be fair to everyone? But America is not fair. We are already born in a world where we're born in different energies and that's not fair, but God do that on purpose. That's to create um, difference and purpose so that we won't all be the same. Not for y'all, for we us to come and get, God actually created us different so we can have empathy for each other. So we have a reason to love. So we have a reason to, to come together, but <laughs> we make it as much as possible to be separated. We must. We make it much as possible to be division, to, for division to happen, especially with the races. Y'all, we let the devil play on the races 24-7. Oh, black lives matter. All lives matter because white people come from black people. Let's just be honest. A black woman have the EG, so white people come from black people. And it's been proven back in the slavery day when a black woman had a, a white baby, a full white baby. It was her DNA that was running through that baby blood, but body, but... And there was a black man who, who who fathered the child, but the baby was white. Only God could do that. So when, that's what I'm saying. The devil will trick us into being seeing more of uh, the differences and, and not liking it instead of embracing it. A black woman had made, have the, the black woman is the only woman on the face of this planet that have the Eve gene and it's been scientifically proven. So why are we talking about Black Lives Matter? No, we should, whoever the person name, if Breonna Taylor's life matter, it should be on a bell to uh, Breonna Taylor's life matter. It should not be Black Lives Matter because let's be honest, we're all human. We all come from a black woman. A black woman had you, a black woman had me. That's just point blank. No matter what the skin color, black people or white people, white people or black people. If you're talking about an American way, in an American way, how they say, are you black, white, or whatever, the ethnicity, ethnicity, we're black. White people are black. That's what I'm saying. They create it in their mind for, um, to, 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 to cause division. And, and that, this is one of the biggest secrets besides slavery. What happened to slavery past that point. But if white, if a black woman had a white baby and create the whole white race, why do we call them Caucasians? God showed me they simply called them Caucasians because it was white like the Caucasus Mountain. Not because they came from the Caucasus Mountain, because they were white. It was symbolic for their color of their skin. It was not to make us to be diverse, but to embrace that that white child. So when people, oh, white people are um, doing, what is it, appropriating our culture? 
Well, uh, they came from us. <laughs> How can you appropriate something that you came for? This is the trick of the enemy. This is the trick of the enemy. How can you appropriate something that you came from? You can't, the white people came from us. They just have different features. And God made it that way on purpose. And we let the devil come in, trick us, and say white people are doing this, or white people are doing a white woman. We are all come from a black woman. White people come from a black woman. Black women, and it's been scientifically proven, has the Eve gene. So all races come from black women. Black women are very special to God because we have the Eve gene. Oh, why they, they can do this and do this? Because God favors our womb. He favors our bloodline. We were created first. Black women are special just because they have the Eve gene. Number one, I don't care what a black woman have done. God saw fit that a black woman gave birth to the whole. And then we like to say Abraham. No, yeah, Abraham was the father of many nations. But who is the mother of many nations? I, Sarah. When they talk about in the book, of the, she said, I, Sarah, a black woman. So a black woman gave birth. She's the mother of many nations, a black woman. That's why Abraham said, I am the father of many nations, because he was. He had all nations. We all are Abraham, from Abraham and Sarah. Sarah is a mother. Sarah, I, a black woman. Let's see, people, we don't make the connection. Sarah. Sarah. A black woman. A black woman had every race on this planet. And it's so hard for people to, oh my God, for black people and white people to accept that. And other, and accept, um, other um, nationalities to accept that too. But everybody comes from a black woman, point blank, period. There's no argument there. If you were talking about scientific, scientifically proven, black women gave birth to the whole freaking world. That's just point blank. And the, the level of disrespect and the vision that we have of of black women of ha of we of, that we have of um this division between the races nobody should one thing everybody should be appreciating a black woman it should be a national month for black people just for a black woman just for a black man father's day is not enough mother's day enough cuz the world came from black people, from, in, from black people, from the Indian race, from the black race. <laughs> I, Sarah, Abraham, the father of many nations. So who's the mother of many nations? Okay, let's, 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 that's why the Bible says, who, let, who have wisdom understand what the, what the Bible is talking about. You have to have wisdom. You cannot be out here just being janky, but a lot of people like a lot of janky stuff. Nobody should be coming down on nobody. If anybody should have a problem with anything, it's black women. Because <laughs> we done gave birth to all y'all. Not us personally, but our bloodline, the, the, the blood that flows through our vein. That's why we can create nothing out of uh, something out of nothing. That's why we can do that. Because we have that creativity. When it comes down to it, we can reach heaven faster than any. Any. When it comes down to survival, that's why. Oh, I don't know how mama did it because she's a survivor because it was put in her DNA to survive. It was put into her DNA to birth these nations and keep them going. These, this, this world to keep it going. A black woman gave birth. If it weren't for a black woman carrying the seed of Abraham, the seed, then there would never be a world. She had to work. She had nine months carry you and, 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 and eat and, and, and carry you in her womb and, and go to God, that spiritual connection with the universe about you. You get what I'm saying? So, when these bonds are created, it was from a black woman. So, anytime you disrespect a black woman, no matter, especially she ain't done nothing wrong. But we need to take the time out and have a black, it should be a national holiday for black women to appreciate the bloodline. Everybody should be appreciating a black woman because she gave birth to this whole freaking world. When it comes to the human race, no matter black, white, Spanish, Indian, a black woman gave birth to the universe. 
to every race on this planet. And the only reason why Caucasian people are called Caucasian, not because they're from the Caucasus Mountains, but it was symbolic for their skin color to identify that, hey, there's a new race. There's a new race of people. There's a new race. It's different. Let's give it a name. Don't we like to label everything? Let's give it a name. And Caucasus was the white, there was the name of a mountain, Caucasus Mountain. And they called them Caucasian because they were white people. They, but they came from a black woman. Only God can do something like that. Only the most high. So when, when you disrespect the black woman, remember, yeah. everybody came from that bloodline. That's all I got to say. When, when it's time for somebody else to get a national holiday, it should be black women. Not just Mother's Day, it should be black women of all races. Black women should be more appreciated to, than any other race. Because if it wasn't for us, you guys wouldn't be here. Point blank, period. I'm out. Peace.